Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and also welcome to this course Object Oriented Programming using Java. Myself Tanvi Rahman and in this tutorial I am going to explain about basic UML association. So first of all we need to know what is association. So association is a term that defines the relationship in between the classifiers and which is also used to show how the instances of the classifiers are related to each other. And simple association can be unidirectional or can be bidirectional, which means for unidirectional association, the communication becomes one way, and for bidirectional association, it becomes in both ways. So now let me quickly show you an example of unidirectional association. So as you can see that there are two classifiers: one is student and another is teacher, and the relationship is teach. So we can say that a teacher teaches a list of students. And uh, for uh, the bidirectional association, uh, the relationship uh, can be supervision. And we can say that a student is supervised by many teachers, or in another sense, a teacher supervises more than one student. So, now how we can implement that? So, uh, firstly, I will be implementing unidirectional association using Java. So, I'm going to Eclipse, and now I want to create a project, and the name of the project I want to give is Association. Mm, basic association basic association and then inside basic association and inside the source package I want to create another package and I want to name it as basic association basic association and inside basic association package I want a class and the name of the class must be student and then I want another class um, and the name of the class is teacher so inside student class I want some uh, fields some public fields so I want to name it public string ID and then public uh, string name name and then public string contact and as a teacher also contains all of these three fields I'm copying it and then inside teacher class I am pasting it so now um, uh, I am going to this, uh, the figure which I was using to describe the concept of unidirectional association. There the relationship was teach. So now I am going to create a function inside teacher class because a teacher teaches many students. So it is a one-way communication. So the teach function will be inside a teacher class. So inside teacher class I want to create a function public void teach teach and there I need a list of students so in order to do that I want uh, to create a new list so list uh, and then I want to improve uh, import java.util and then the data type of the list will be student student and the object of the list will be students so now the errors are gone. So now what I can do, uh, I want to create a new class inside basic association which will contain the main function which means from where the program will run. So I'm going to name it as program PROG program M program. So inside program class uh, I want a list of students. So I want to create a list of students. So student S1 is equals to new new student and s1 uh, dot name is equals let's say shuva and i want to create a list of students so i am copying it and then i am pasting it pasting it pasting it so uh, the second student i want to name it as uh, student s2 is equals to new student and s2 dot name uh, i want to name it as john and then student s3 and i want to name s3 as let's say jesse what about jesse jesse and then the last student which is student 4 and the name of the student i want to give is uh, what should i say uh, mark okay so these are the four students and now i want uh, now i want to group uh, some of the students together so I want a list of students and, and for that reason I am 
uh, using the list here and Java .util I have to import and then the data type will be student and then and let's say student group 1 is equals to new let's say array list new array list new array list and um, you can see that in the java.util.array is, is already imported so there will be no error so now inside student group 1 student group 1 I want to add Shuva and John uh, student group uh, dot add uh, let's say student 1 and then student group 1 dot add I want to add S2 Shuva and John now I want to create a teacher so uh, let's say I want to create an object of a teacher so teacher t1 is equals to new teacher and t1 dot name let's say it's me so the name is Tanvir Tanvir so I uh, want to show you that let's say what about Tan Tanvir uh, is teaching Shuva and John so these student group belongs to Tanvir so now uh, inside teacher class there is a function called teach and inside teach uh, in the function um, there is a parameter which accepts a list of students and I want to print the name of the student so firstly I want to write system dot out dot print line print line and I want to uh, print it as this dot name and then I want to concatenate it so by putting the plus keyword and then inverted comma and then a space is teaching the following students okay so in order to traverse the members of the students list uh, I have to use a loop that is for each loop so for each loop and the oh my god Eclipse is very smart it has already uh, created the uh, yeah, it is already written what I what I have to write <laughs> right now anyway so uh, for each iteration of students list and the uh, uh, object of the student will become a student so I want to name it as I student okay so I want to print uh, the name of the student so system dot out dot print ln and then I student student dot name so <coughs> now <coughs> sorry so now from the program class uh, I want to uh, pass this student group to Tanvir so I want t1 dot teach then student group 1 which means t1 is teaching student group 1 so now if I uh, run it then I can see that Tanvir is teaching the following students Shuva and John so this is how we can implement unidirectional association so now uh, if we want to implement bidirectional association then and the, uh, the relationship which is supervision it is, uh, it is it is maintained in both way fashion so uh, so in unidirectional association uh, yeah, we uh, already considered the function teach inside the teacher class but when we are considering and uh, the both way communication which means the bidirectional association then we have to use uh, no we have to we have to write the same function inside the student and teacher so I have to write public then for what should I write I have to copy I can copy it so I am copying it and then I am pasting it and I want to name it as supervision supervision list of students so uh, this dot name is supervising supervising the following students okay so now inside student I want the same thing uh, so I am copying it and then I am pasting it inside inside student okay so now supervision but inside the supervision of student there will be list of teachers not list of students so a list of teachers so I am writing it as teacher and then the object name is teachers 
and then uh, this dot name is supervised is supervised by the following teachers by the following teachers so now uh, I want to traverse it so the name of the object name of the object of the list was teachers and or at each iteration each teacher will be a teacher so now there I have to write a teacher dot name so what uh, I want to print is that uh, let's say uh, Tanvir is teaching the following students uh, it was in the previous section now I it will be printing that Tanvir is supervising the following students and in another sense I want to show you in a different way so firstly if, now if I run it then uh, Tanvir is teaching the following students because uh, I am calling the teach function so now if I call now if I call t1 dot super vision then if I pass a student group 1 then <coughs> sorry if I comment this line and then if I run it and then uh, it will be printing Tanvir is supervising the following students Shufa and John so now if I group a list of teacher and if I want to say that a student is being supervised by a list of teachers then what should I do so then I need more than one teacher so I am copying it pasting it so I am uh, creating an object of another teacher which is T2 and the name of the teacher I should give uh, I want to give it as max let's say max and the last teacher it is T3 and the name of the teacher I want to give and that can be what about David okay so now I want to create another list so the name of the list list uh, it must be teacher and uh, teacher group 1 is equals to new array list sorry new array list and then I have to put a semicolon there and inside teacher group 1 I want to add let's say Tanvir and Max so T1 and and add T2 so uh, here becomes the group of the teacher and that is teacher group 1 so now uh, let's say I want to sh uh, show you that Tanvir is supervising the following students Shuva and John but Shuva is not only being supervised by Tanvir but also it is uh, she is being supervised by Tanvir as well as Max so now what I can do so I can and the name of the object uh, where the uh, name field of the particular object was Shuva was S1 so I want to call the supervision function of S1 supervision and then I have to pass a list of teachers and then teacher group 1 and now if I run it under this line then what will happen Tanvir is supervising the following students it will be printed and then Shufa is being supervised the following teachers that particular line will also be printed so let me quickly show you that I am just running it okay so Tanvir is supervising the following students and Shuva is supervised by the following teachers so by writing and these lines uh, these these two lines I am just uh, passing the student group to T1 and teacher group to S1 so uh, we can implement bidirectional association in this way so there can be uh, some other groups like uh, let's say we can say that S3 and S4 may, S4 may form a group and they can be supervised by David so we can do that too so this is how uh, we can implement a unidirectional and bidirectional association in Java thank you for watching this is Tanvir Roman signing out